Next question is from Diener SF. I'm interested in the No BS Six Pack Abs program. How would you recommend that I incorporate it into my current programming? Mm. This is this thing's been flying, you know, because we put it half off, and so many people are doing this. And yeah, um, it's a program that I created uh, back in 2016, I want to say, or maybe 2013. 15. 2014. 2014. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it was a while ago. Younger um, years. Or maybe actually 2013. It might be 13. And so it's, it was a program designed to build the muscles of the core so that they're visible, right? So to give you that that six-pack or whatever. The workout is designed to have, I think, two or three what are considered foundational workouts. And then on the other days, there's what are called trigger sessions. Regardless of what workout you're doing, just swap out your ab workout with what we what you have in the no BS uh, six pack workout. So whatever your ab workout is, don't do it. Don't do that in your workout and just replace it with the no BS uh, ab workout. And then on your off days, do uh, the ab trigger sessions, which are low intensity exercises designed to keep. So the does muscles. that mean you you recommend the foundational days on the foundational days of your training? Then also okay. Now here's because I've, rec- I've recommended the opposite. I've actually recommended that. You do your no BS foundational days on your trigger or focus days of our program. Now, yes, when you're doing MAPS programs, because yeah. the way we write our workouts, then what I'd suggest you do is take out the ab section of whatever MAPS program you're following, do your normal foundational workouts on your non-foundational, let's say, MAPS anabolic days. That's when you do the no BS six-pack foundational days. Okay. So you're doing you're, you're not doing them on the exact same day. Now, for everybody else, they may be following a body part split or whatever workout. Mm-hmm. Just replace your app. Now, th- I think why we're talking about no BS, we have to bring up something that I, I've got a lot of concern about, too, is you know how much equipment is required. And if there is any equipment required, are there replacements for those movements? Yeah. So yeah. you need a physio ball, resistance bands, because I show cable exercises. Resistance bands work just fine. Then I do a couple exercises on a bench. You could very easily take a chair and do a lot of these exercises. Uh, there's a reverse crunch that I do uh, on the bench. Um, you could do those on the floor. I would just suggest doing them much slower because you're not doing them. On yeah, the bench. I do that and I grab the bed frame and kind of go that direction. Mm-hmm. So yeah. really, then all you you technically need then is a physio ball. That's probably a must, right? Which yep. you can get those shipped over to you on Amazon for super cheap. Yep, yep. And then hopefully you have a set of bands already that would replace any cable stuff. And then the stuff that requires a bench, you could use for a chair, like the Roman a chair or, or the floor, exactly. Okay. Yeah. 